Mr. Kim, thank you for doing this interview with us. Less than two decades ago, Korea was an aid recipient. Now it's a donor country and sharing its experience on long-term sustainable growth with other countries. Korea has been putting a lot of effort in sharing lessons from Samuel Undong, its famous and successful development model. Could you tell us about Samuel Undong in more detail? Samuel Undong, literally New Village Movement, was initiated by the government at the early 1970s when Korea was just starting modernization and industrialization. However, most of uh, the country in, in rural, particularly rural area, remain fragile and extremely poor. So government wanted to make rural, development, uh, rural uh, areas to be uh, equal or harmonized with the rest of the country, particularly uh, with the urban area. The income of uh, rural areas has uh, risen up to the level of uh, urban area in five years after the movement. The key strategy of the movement was to promote the candle spirit, motivate the people to participate and let them have ownership so that they can voluntarily participate in the movement and believe that they can have a better future, they can live better. So this strategy was successful by changing attitude and mentality of the people who had long lived in a tradition of uh, despair and frustration. Government and NGOs and people in the village and leading farmers could change this mentality and make this as a national movement. I think that was the key component of the strategy. And then uh, history and result proved to be the government was uh, right and people were rewarded. To share some lessons with other countries, what were the key elements when introducing the Samu Undong that allowed this whole movement to succeed? Uh, well, the government uh, had uh, trouble at the beginning uh, to convince the people and let them understand what is the purpose of this movement. People were sarcastic at the beginning. But uh, many uh, young people in the village who are intellectually hungry and then uh, try to make their lives better, and also uh, mostly women who came out to force uh, men and other farmers to come along with the movement because uh, the government was uh, ally allied with uh, mostly uh, young association, uh, 4-H groups or some other uh, young people's movement in the village. And socially, that was uh, uh, accepted by most of the people because uh, people in Korea at the time started to feel that the situation is changed and the future can be different. So this uh, strategy to combine different forces of the society uh, was the, one of the key, comp, uh, key elements to success in wider, you know, achieving the wider participation. You mentioned a strong focus on engaging young people as a key target group. Now, in terms of a governance model, what was the kind of development approach championed by Samu Undong and how did it work in practice? You know, as I said, uh, this is government initiated uh, movement, but also it stressed a lot bottom-up approach, ownership of the people. Without participation of the people themselves, nothing will be achievable. So the governance has been naturally made from the top of the government, mid of the government, and, and authorities on the ground, and villagers, villager leaders, they wanted to communicate each other. And then the system was set up because the, the bottom of the villagers tried to start to make their voice heard. So naturally, this voice has been filtered, channeled through uh, the middle level to the top of the government. And the top of the government was monitoring what was happening, what was voice, what are needed from the bottom. So this channeling 
has been promoting, has been helping the democratic governance and then naturally I think it has helped a lot uh, Korea's democracy in the end. As you mentioned earlier, it was important to provide a model that could address the changes that Korea was facing. So how to apply the Samu Gondong now in a different time in countries with very different realities from Korea? Uh, even though Semal Undong in 90s in Korea was extremely successful and then revenue of uh, rural area has been increased, as I said, uh, uh, almost even with uh, uh, urban, that of uh, urban area. And then during the nine years time, the revenue of uh, rural area has been uh, increased by uh, nine, uh, sixfold. So it has been successful, and it helped the urbanization, uh, measured urbanization of uh, Korean cities too. However, we cannot apply this exactly in the same way in, at this point of uh, 2015. The world has been changing. We have more technologies. We have a new network of uh, communications and skills. I think we need to apply um, apply as many different level of technology as possible so that the impact can be created, not only in uh, revenue creation, but also in health, education, and uh, environmental protection. In many areas, we, we can use technologies and awareness and new findings and know-how to make uh, villages more rapidly developed and connected with the value chain of uh, domestic, domestically and, and also internationally. What is your plan for future cooperation with the Global Donor Platform and with specific donors? Well, uh, COICA as a international, one of the international aid agency has uh, naturally partnerships with many other uh, agencies or international organizations or NGOs. We are working with those organizations and NGOs to borrow their uh, know-how, their commitment, and, and their skills and in achieving many goals of this SEMA project. Uh, one example is uh, Millennium Promise, which has been working in, in many uh, African countries and earned uh, skills and know-how, and then they, they know uh, by their own commitment, engagement, the uh, strong points and weak points of the Millennium Village projects. But we, we, we too believe that Semar spirit, Semar organizational strategy can complement each other. That's one, one uh, example of a partnership. And UNDP and WFP, uh, these organizations also would like to cooperate with COICA based on Semar uh, model because everyone now believes, particularly in this post-2015 area, uh, creation of ownership and train people to run the business, make things sustainable, needs this SEMAL strategy. So we are expanding partnerships with many other organizations and partners.